Hotwax Commerce import app now supports inventory upload. Retailers can use the import application to reset inventory of any product in Hotwax Commerce. In this video, I'll give you a quick demo of how this application and this feature is used for efficient and quick inventory upload. Let us first select the product. Here I have taken this product and we'll see the inventory. It has three inventory right now at the warehouse location. Now if I want to upload 10 inventory at store 2 for example, I will go to the import app and log in. Here we have added a screen of inventory as you can see in the menu. We'll click on upload and for this demo purpose I've already made a CSV. Here we have a new function of saved mappings that means you can select the fields appropriate of your CSV which means multiple options are available to map. Here I have already saved this that is product Q will be mapped with the ID value of CSV, quantity will be mapped with the available quantity in the CSV and so on. We'll click on review and here you will see the item and the quantity, the location. Now there are three things here that can be adjusted or that can be managed from UI. The first is the bulk adjustment. Here you will you can add buffer quantity uh, to the inventory and you can select the facility. If you want any other facility then the facility selected in the CSV you can do that from here and you click on save. Right now I'm not doing this. Also if by mistake you have added a product which cannot be mapped in hot wax commerce you will get a missing product information here you can simply select the SKU and you can update it from here the next is the missing facilities missing facilities means that the facility id given in the csv does not map with an external id or the id in hot wax commerce when, while setting up an instance, we generally map the external IDs of the facility in Hotwax Commerce, which does not give any error. Right now, we have a missing facility. We'll click here, and here you can see the facility that was given in the CSV, that is Store 2. Here, I'll click on Map Facilities. A drop down appears. I'll map it with the store in Hotwax Commerce, that is the UTA store, and I'll click and save. The location appears automatically. Here if you have multiple items in the CSV, you can select all from here. You can reset all the settings from here. You can single select from here. And then we click on this cloud button to upload the CSV. Now here we have an option of view. We go to this view page and we can see this is currently in pending state. It is processing in hot wax commerce. And now it's finished. We go to the product inventory page and quickly refresh it. You will see it is 13 and now when we click on the inventory logs you will see a variance of 10 logged for the UTA store or for the store 2. This way import app can be used for quickly importing and quickly resetting inventory for any products. For more information on hot wax commerce visit our website at hotwax.co or you can visit our forum at forum.hotwax.io.